Hey everybody, it's Glider Cat and it's time to play. We're back in Evo Space. I did a little bit of work in between episodes. You'll see I've got this uh our building's got a <laughs> got a nice wall up here. And back here is our above here is where we're doing our copper production. And then I built a little stairway here. We've got a door. We just right click on that to open and close it. And then I've got a lit up room. This is kind of our surf, uh, service area where we can get to all the heat pipes and things. And eventually maybe we'll wire electricity down here instead. But I thought that looked kind of neat. Just trying to get some, um, some aesthetics in along the way as we play. Now, last episode, I believe we finished setting up our circuit production. Let's see here. Yeah, the first level circuits. And the reason nothing's moving is because we need to pick a research. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let me just see real something real quick here. Okay. J for research. I got to remember my, uh, shortcuts. It's been a couple of days since I've played and I played a lot of factory other, another factory game in between. So I'm going to be resting on my keystrokes. Let's see what we want to do first. We've got, uh, we can do the advanced computations. We can't do the complex. Let's see what stands out. Uh, none of this solid dump, I think is just, if you have extra materials or waste materials, you can send it, send it into here, into this garbage can and it'll just disappear from the game and it keeps your production running. Steins, not yet. A distributed computing too might not be a bad idea. That gets us computer to develops research points, consumes electricity. I don't know if that's faster, a faster computer. That's a candidate. Heat transferring is just a radiator destroys heat radiator too. Now I'm not sure when we're going to need that. That's another one of these kind of things where if you're, I don't know if you're producing too much heat and you need to decrease it, you deploy these radiators, but I haven't seen a use for that yet as we're playing. Additional storage, that's steel chests that bumps us up five more stacks from the copper ones, which are 25. Heat conversion. Okay, here's a, a better Sterling engine. That's a good candidate. So is basic machines. That's a good candidate. And then do we have everything we need for steel? Ooh, electric engine. Electric into kinetic energy. So that's not bad. The reason this is good. Wait, converts electricity into kinetic energy. So this will help us move towards using wires instead of having to move coal around. I think we still need a way to generate heat from electricity. So do we have something along those lines? Okay. We have a smelter that gets us, that may do it. Let's go with the, let's go with the advanced smelting. And then we should see, we'll get out of this. We should see, yeah, this that computer is off and running. We may need to rethink this line. I know last episode I was a little tired. But I think, yeah, I think we may need to improve how this is laid out because this is not going to scale, not going to scale well at all. We've got the circuit boards coming out. Hey, our lights just popped on. So that looks pretty cool. And then I'll leverage the daytime thing too, where we can just set, set it to daytime uh, down here at the bottom left of the screen. But I do want to place lights around as we go as well. So yeah, I'm just saying that this is not scalable at all. The way I've got this laid out, what I probably need to do is produce this wire. If I ran that up and just produce the wire out this way on a platform in an array and brought down a belt of wire, then we could, yeah, then we could do it. A little better. Same thing with the circuit boards. Wire. 
wire, circuit boards. Let's think about that. Boy, I'm wondering if we should just start working on that. That's kind of a big job. Let's see, I've also got a bunch of blocks on me. We can, uh, now I'm going to end up falling over this place. So let me, let me fill this in a bit. We'll leave room for the ladder. I think we may have to come out too for that. I don't know if I can put a block. No, that would probably replace the ladder. Let's fill this in a little bit again so I don't fall over. Boom. Bring this guy out if we can. We can test this just to make sure we can still go up and down the ladder here. Yep, that's good. All right, let's leverage the little daylight button. Set it to morning so we can kind of see what we're doing. That's not what I wanted. Take these out. And again, either between episodes or slowly as we go, we can uh, place more lights down. I think I have, well, I have seven in inventory, not a ton. And we might as well just close this off. So anchor that block down, then it's pretty easy. So yeah, how do we want to do this? We've got wire coming down, or these guys coming down, metal, the copper. I want to get wire going out this way. So I'm going to build out some more. We may need to get some more building blocks. Or bricks, make some more bricks. Go get some more stone. Let's see what I got in inventory here. Got plenty. Let's craft some of that up while we're sitting uh, doing this work. Queue up a bunch of that. We've got tons of stone being mined over uh, kind of near our main headquarters. Research is still going, but it's slow, right? Just we can't scale well. And we also learned last episode that the... Um, that the calculation, the basic computations were, were falling behind on. So I think we need to go back to the, our main area, kind of our headquarters and drop maybe a second computer down and speed up that as well. That may be something to jump on actually before we even bother with this. Let's see. For now, while we're working on this, let's, uh, Let's put a loader down or a robotic arm. Like that. And then we'll run some belt. We may change this. Doesn't have to be a lifelong decision here. But I'm thinking then we'll run some uh, assemblers next to this. Produce wire, maybe loop that wire back, and then we'll take this production and kind of come up this way as well. Or how would we want to do that? Boy, it's just a, there's a lot to do. <laughs> Let's go ahead and extend this platform out a bit more. Boom. 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 And this one, as we build the bricks, I think we can only do like one strip at a time. I don't know that there's a way to kind of, you know, pull back and build a whole platform at once. That would be nice. Cool. More belts. Let's 
So this is the scalable line of what's going to be our wire production. So let's look at what it's going to take to build, um, build some more assemblers. What do I have no, I got a furnace. Let's go to machines. Here, there's a assembler. Let's grab five of these, six of these. We know we're going to need them. We got a fair amount of copper on us. I may go fetch another little bunch of that. Oh, we got tons now. It's so nice having this automated. But uh, we'll use this to make some belts as well because we're going to be chewing through those quite a bit. So let's queue up some of those. All right. And let's just see how this works. Back to inventory. Let's grab an assembler and pop this guy down. Oh yeah, we got to figure out the wiring too. Yeah, the power is a little new dynamic, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do we want to do the power? Uh, how about we want to come underneath? So I got to be over here, at least over here. And then what I'm thinking of doing, we'll just try it. We'll learn as we go. I think I need to be three apart. What I'm thinking of doing is bringing a wire up down from underneath and then connecting these two things to that wire. Yeah, this is going to take a little work. But basically, we would put a uh, robotic arm here. Boom. And here to bring in the copper ingots or whatever those are. Now underneath, let's, uh, let me drill this out. We're probably going to come up from closely the middle, something, something near the middle. And then let's do this. I'll show you what I'm thinking. Boom. 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 And boom. So that's getting these things wired and then we'll power up like that, run the wire underneath. And then another belt along here is going to be the copper wire coming out. Now, again, I don't know that we have loaders that can reach to, you know, reach over a belt. That's the other thing that's uh, kind of complicating things a bit. Uh, as I plan this, because we want the wire to output on a belt. And then I was thinking I could run these circuit boards kind of right next to that belt somehow. And if they're heading in the same direction, then later on we could build the circuits and we could move our computer down, you know, further away, not where it's at now. But how can we make that work? Let's, let's look at our research is almost done. Let's look at the research tree for a second. I don't think that as we look at the logistics, it really tells us, you know, if we have a re if we have a robot arm that reaches out further distance or not, I guess we can research that one next and find out. Let's see, how do we want to do this? Well, let's run the belts. We know we're going to have to have belts here. Dumping this stuff out. This is going to be the wire coming off the line. So we'll have 
an arm there, and an arm there. And then we'll escape this. This guy, we need to set to produce wire, copper wire, boom. Same here, copper wire. Okay. So this will be scalable. At least we can get to a full belt. You know, we can fill a compress a belt just by throwing more assemblers down, but we got to solve the power issue. So we're going to come down our ladder or we're just going to fall. <laughs> uh, lights would be nice. see here if we can just get something even initially that we can use to, to just to see we'll move these or I'll move these between episodes to be a little bit better lined up and then we should drill out some of this we'll look for our little hole there goes the lights just kicked on so that's cool And then looking forward to having a faster mining laser. So where's our hole? Right above us. All right. So let's grab cable just so we can see this a little better. Boom. Okay. That's where we got to come down. And now we have power here, right? We've got a cable here. Why don't we... Keep our little furnace set up here. We can scale this out, right? We can keep going in that direction and generate more power. So let's run cable across this way. We'll see if anything gets in the way. It looks like we're, <laughs> we're right in line with our lamp. Oops, wrong one. Pop that there for now. Let's collect up these little pieces we dropped. And grab our cable again. We're probably going to want to craft more of that as well. So that one's there. We just need this, this, this. Uh, whoops, wrong way. This, this, that's it. So we'll just drill these guys out. Boom, boom. Nice and easy. Piece of cake. All right, now let's head up and see if we're actually producing some of that wire. Uh, we should probably use our little ladder we got. Nice, there it is. So you can see this is way more scalable. So that, that just makes a heck of a lot more sense. So how do we want to do this? Now this is our board line made literally of wood these circuit boards, which is just super duper interesting to me. This one, we can scale if we want, we can scale out this way, have our output just like this, have rows of this, what we see here already, have the output come out this way. And then I'm just wondering how to route this. This stuff is all going to go away. So if I came across and I ran a belt right next to this one, then it'd be awesome if I could throw some assemblers down and have them reach from both belts. I don't know that there's a way of doing that. That's the thing I don't know. All right, for now we got that little section done. Let's look at the research and choose the next thing. So we did the advanced smelting. Let's do the electric engine. And then maybe this heat conversion, but let's do electric engine first, get that going. And while that research is running, let's head back. We'll, we'll change gears here for a second. Let's go back to our main, uh, our main headquarters over here and shore up the basic computing. If we can, let's just make sure we got lots of copper. We do should be good on that. 
I'm thinking we can put another computer down over here. And then we should automate this guy, the coal on this guy, right? Oops. So we don't have to keep feeding it. It seems like it's not using much. All right. See, this guy is firing away. We've got a little bit of a power array there. So why don't we just set up another right next to it? Another setup like this, another computer, like literally right next to it. We'll put the block. Let's see if we can build a computer with what we've got on hand. see where is the computer furnace fluid furnace computer there we go it's going to take a minute to build there's quite a few pieces in that oh and i need the steel no what or is that glass i think that's glass right Apparently I have what I needed because it built. Let's grab it and pop it this way. And then we can just do heat pipe here. Reuse that same power. And then we need a Sterling engine. And we're still, until we get the steel, we're still stuck using the ones we got. Uh, I, let's see. Let's grab a Sterling engine. And then we need the generator, which looks like that, the compact generator. And then I can see that we need robotic arms. Let's do that while we're here. Grab 20 of those. Can always grab more belts. And then cable. Do that. And it looks like I've got a furnace level two here. I don't need it. So we're going to leverage the same stuff we got going. All right. Let's go ahead and pop the Sterling engine down. Boom. Just like that. And then our portable generator, or compact generator. Looks like it's right where we want it. And then we got to set this guy up to do basic computation. So it's a right click basic computations off. It goes, we got tons of fuel, tons of power. I think we'll be fine. We could pop a light, some lights around this area. It's pretty dark. Let's do, where do we want to do lights? Could definitely do them on top of that. Let's go ahead and hop on a block here. Pop down some lights, boom, boom, boom. And let's craft some more because we're out of those. Thirty of those will queue up, and it's so nice having that copper, man. Automated where we can just grab stacks of it, and eventually we'll be able to just um. Grab some more finished products instead of just copper bars. All right, let's pick a new research. How about a okay, power generation? That's going to get us a better generator. Let's do automation first. Boom. Oh, stainless steel. Yeah, we can't do that one yet. So let's see. The next thing we might want to do that allow us to upgrade everything is steel production. So let's look and see what we can actually craft on the steel front. I think we have the steel furnace, right? Okay, we got the those, but we have this guy, electric furnace. Consumes electricity and produces heat. Oh, we're good. 
We're really, really good. Now we can move to not having to transport coal all over the place. So that's awesome. But I thought we had a way of smelting steel. Maybe we didn't do that one. I thought that was the arc one. Let's look at the uh, research tree. Maybe that's just, uh, we didn't research that one yet. It was the arc smelter, right? That was going to allow us to do steel. It looks like we have it. Where is it? There it is, arc smelter. All right, suitable for stainless steel smelting. Consumes electricity. All right. So where do we want to do that? We need to look for iron. And we need to probably, before we do that, we probably should go back here and finish. Uh, let's grab some stone while we're near the stone mine. But we should probably finish what we started the episode with or get back to that. And that is kind of shoring up the uh, circuit, circuit production. We'll grab some more stone. Let's do that. Let's head over there. Research should be in good shape here. As far as level one research, we just doubled it. We could probably triple it. But uh, I don't think we're going to be waiting on research. We're going to be waiting on me to finish these production lines. Okay, that's the wire. We could put assemblers in the middle. So I guess what I'm struggling with right now is a two ingredient product. Like here, we're coming in from both sides and then we have the finished product come out. We need a way to hop over a line. So how can we do that? How can we do that? Just got to think about that. I'm not sure why it's so hard. It's probably a very easy solution. Let's take a look at one of these guys. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is only going to reach one block. So let's see, the other option would be, oh man, it's like weaving belts. I don't want to weave belts. And I can't really send product down the middle, like off of these lines, just send it into the middle and then pull from the middle because we're kind of powering from the middle unless every other one we run a couple belts but i just think that's ugly let's i'll show you what i'm talking about so one option would be okay every machine go ahead and run a belt this way to bring in your wire and then bring a machine this way to bring in your circuit boards or whatever and then load your machines you know like that's still Actually, that still doesn't work. Yeah, I need to get two products in. So let's take this up. You know, I just came from playing Foundry, and they had what was called like a second lane and a third lane loader. And so you could just reach over a belt and grab products from a belt. One belt over or two belts over. It had separate machines to do that. Super duper convenient. Here, I gotta just learn how you do it. And right now, I am struggling trying to figure that out. I really don't wanna have to weave belts. You could, st I bet you could stack belts. I don't like the look of that either. But let's just see, I bet you could put a but I could put a dude right here. No, maybe not. I guess, yeah, that's like right there. That looks horrible. So I don't want to do that. All right, let's uh, get rid of these guys. Make sure we save it. Research is just about done. It's just finishing up. Is that right? Or 
Or did we not hit start? Yeah, we didn't hit start. All right, we'll let the thing go. It's going to take a while. All right, well, let's wrap this episode here. I'll do a little bit more brainstorming between episodes. And then hopefully we'll have a good design here for our circuits line. We're still producing them. It's just slower than it needs to be, and it's not scalable. So we've got a nice scalable line here of copper wire. We got a nice scalable line here of the circuit boards themselves. And we just need to find a way to combine both of those into an assembler and still have a have routing for the power and routing for the output product. And hopefully without doing weaving, I'm really not crazy about belt weaving. All right, that's it for now. This is Glider Cat signing off saying thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.